Hello everyone, my name is, where well, I don't care what my name is, and here we go with my review for Brightburn. I love what-if scenarios, especially when it comes to some of, some of the stories that I love reading. Uh, whether it's based on a movie I love, based on a cartoon I love, based on an anime I love, or a video game, either way, I like seeing these what-if scenarios. Because it gives you a different idea of how things could have turned out differently if the character or the story or anything really went diff a different direction than how we got it from the very beginning. So when I heard about the story about this film, I got very interested because I always wondered what would happen if Superman came to Earth, but instead of growing up to use his powers for good, he grows up to be a pretty much a monster. So I was very interested in that. I mean, we got it from we got an idea of how Superman would be like from the Injustice games, but nothing to this length where it was a little kid who has the same kind of origin as Superman, though know, coming to Earth, being found by this loving couple, has these same powers as him, but instead uses his powers for bad. I, I got very interested in that. So I really was hoping this film would do well. I sat down. Watched the whole thing, and it was uh, it was okay. I'm probably gonna get hated by people by this, but I thought it was it was okay. I didn't really hate it. I didn't think it was awesome. I thought it was okay. I mean, I could go as far as say it was good, but there's just some stuff about it that really they missed a very big opportunity on, and I felt like that was a big uh, mistake there. Uh, so the story for it, I already explained what it is, but the way they tell the story, it's it's not good. I mean, it's it's paced okay, but there are times when they they do rush the kid being evil, and I thought, no, you, you should have taken your time on this. You should have taken your time where you slowly see him developing into what causes him to snap and causes him to become this monster we saw from the trailer. I, I was hoping for that. We didn't really get that. I, I just it just felt a little rush on his transformation. The other thing I didn't like the fact is they didn't explain to us where he came from. You know about these dreams he's been having and stuff like that. It's just I felt like the story was not told very well on certain areas. The first act to the second act. Now the third act is actually where it does get interesting, especially where we see the kit unleashing hell on everybody. But I just wish it was the first two acts would be done a little better. Now, I will give this film credit. The ending, I actually saw it coming. I knew it was going to go the way it was. But, again, it was still good. And hopefully they do a sequel for this. But, yeah, I was a little disappointed with the stories, uh, the way it was told. The first two acts just could have been done a little better. Um, as far as the characters are concerned, what did I think about them? I... I did like the little boy. I thought him being this evil monster, I thought, you know, he's, he's not bad. He's actually, dead. he does a good job. The mother, I thought, uh, I don't know. I just didn't like her very much. I kind of wish it was done a little, her character was done a little bit differently, but it's fine. Dad, eh, didn't really care. In fact, I actually didn't care much about the other characters. I think the only one I did like was the little boy, but... Even then, his transformation from being sweet and innocent to this monster was just, it felt rushed. Like, there was no time to develop him being tr to, to transform into that character that we saw in the film. I felt really disappointed. I felt like you could have given us a little more on him, you know, to that transformation to become what he, what he would become. I don't know. I guess what I'm trying to say is they didn't really build that up very well. And I think they were just worried they were going to be able to do a good job. So they had to rush it out very quickly. So I, I was disappointed. I think they could have done this a better job with this kid. Because he wasn't bad. He was probably the only one I actually liked in the other characters. Because I knew they were all going to die. I knew they were all going to die. I mean, let's be honest. You saw the trailer. The way things were going, it did not look like anyone was going to survive that shit. But yeah, I just, uh, I don't know, I just really wish it was done a little better. All right, well, what about, you know, the special effects? Was there actual fear? Was that all built up well? There was a lot, of, there was some gory stuff. I, I'll give them that. The uh, glass in the eye thing, that really did, ugh, that was, no, no, no. 
And then the, the kid using his powers on people, I was like, ugh. I was like, damn, they're making this dark. But I did like the, the costume and everything the kid had. Like, I thought that actually looked scary. That is actually pretty creepy. So, is there a legit scare here? Like, build up fear? Like, to me, visually, it looks scary. Like, visually, it looks scary. That's where the fear is at. But everything else, like, there's not really that much fear. And there are some... There was a little jump scare here or there. But really, I just didn't really care much for that. But I did, like, visually, it looked creepy. Scary as hell. This kid, you know, the mask and voice he does. I'm like, awesome. I love it. I thought that looked pretty cool. Um, but, yeah, everything else just uh, it was okay. So, story. How was it? Could have been told a lot better, but the final act was a lot. It was was good. Uh, the characters, the little boy was the only one I liked, even though I wish his character was developed a little better. Everyone else was just they were all pretty much two dimensional characters. You've seen them all in the past, so really didn't care much for them. Uh, I also thought visually it looked pretty cool. You know, just creepy and scary how the kid looks, but there really wasn't much fear to this. Music's not that okay. It was okay. And trying to bring actual fear in this, just visually, it's fine. So, yeah, this film, I will say, it's. If you want to see it with your friends, go right ahead. If you want to see it with your loved one, I guess. But honestly, this is not really not my favorite film to watch. I probably will watch it again. Maybe I might miss something, but I wish it was done a little better. But oh well. Uh, that's pretty much it, guys. If you have a different opinion about this film, leave it in the comments below. Let me know what you think. Hit the subscribe button. Check out my favorite video. Check out my Twitter page. And I'll see you next time to give you more love and more entertainment. So until then, take care. And I'll see you next time.